Have you ever felt an intense connection with someone, only to find out they're with someone else? This could be your twin flame. Now imagine finding your twin flame, but they are with someone else. It's like watching a beautiful sunrise, only to have clouds roll in and obscure the view. In today's video, we'll guide you through seven things to do if you find yourself in this situation. We'll provide you with insights into understanding this connection, acceptance, personal growth, maintaining a positive mindset, communication, patience, and seeking professional help if needed. Stay tuned as we navigate through this spiritual journey together, providing insight and guidance. The first step is to truly understand the twin flame connection. You see, twin flames aren't just another term for soulmates. They're two halves of the same soul, united across time and space. Imagine a cosmic mirror reflecting your deepest self back to you. That's your twin flame, a connection that transcends the physical reaching into the very core of your spiritual being. It's a bond that's profound and intense, often characterized by an immediate, deep, and intuitive recognition. It's not just about romance, but about a profound spiritual awakening, a process of personal transformation. This connection is about growth, about learning to love unconditionally, even when your twin flame is with someone else. It's about understanding that the journey of twin flames isn't always about being together but about helping each other evolve spiritually. Recognizing this connection is the first step towards dealing with your twin flame being with someone else. Secondly, acceptance is key. It's a word that may sound simple, but in the process of healing and growth, it carries a significant weight. Now, we're not talking about resignation or defeat, but about facing the reality of your situation. It's about acknowledging the truth without trying to sugarcoat it or wish it away. When we talk about acceptance, we're talking about embracing the present moment with all its intricacies and complexities. It's about understanding that your twin flame is with someone else and that's okay. Remember, each individual's journey is unique and their decisions are part of that journey. Acceptance can be a challenging process. It may feel like a mountain to climb, especially when the situation is not as per our desires. But think about it like this. When you're climbing a mountain, with each step you take, you're gaining a new perspective. Similarly, with acceptance, you begin to see your situation from a different perspective. Acceptance doesn't mean you're giving up on your twin flame connection. Rather, it means you're giving up the resistance to the situation. You're allowing yourself to feel the emotions, to process them, and to learn from them. By doing so, you're creating a space for inner peace and clarity. Now, imagine you're standing in the middle of a storm. The wind is howling, the rain is pouring, and you're getting drenched. But instead of fighting the storm, you accept it. You let the rain drench you. You stand tall against the wind, and then something magical happens. The storm starts to lose its power. You realize you're not just surviving the storm, but you're thriving in it. That's the power of acceptance. Acceptance doesn't change your situation, but it changes your response to the situation. It allows you to navigate through your emotions with grace and dignity. It helps you to keep your heart open even when it hurts. It gives you the strength to endure, the courage to hope, and the wisdom to understand. Acceptance allows you to see the situation clearly and prepare for the next steps. Third, focus on personal growth. Let's dive right into this. When you find your twin flame with someone else, it can be a difficult pill to swallow. But remember, every challenge is an opportunity for growth, and this situation is no different. Now you might wonder, why personal growth? What does it have to do with my twin flame being with someone else? Well, let's unravel this together. Personal growth involves developing yourself in various areas, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. It's about becoming the best version of yourself not for anyone else, but for you. By focusing on personal growth, you begin to understand and love yourself better. This self-love creates a positive energy within you which radiates outwards. And guess what? Your twin flame being a part of your spiritual journey is bound to feel this positive energy too. When you work on your personal growth, you are also working on your spiritual growth. So even if your twin flame is currently with someone else, the spiritual bond between you two will never diminish. In fact, it might even grow stronger. 
Focusing on personal growth also helps you deal with the emotional turmoil that might come with seeing your twin flame with someone else. It helps you cultivate resilience and emotional strength. You learn to manage your feelings rather than letting them manage you. And let's not forget, personal growth also includes learning to let go. Letting go of the idea that you have control over your twin flame's life choices. This acceptance will give you peace and help you focus on your own life journey. So how can you focus on personal growth? Start by setting small, achievable goals for yourself. Read books that inspire you, meditate daily, take up a new hobby, or seek therapy if needed. Remember, personal growth is a journey, not a destination. Personal growth will not only help you cope, but also make your spiritual bond stronger. So, take this as an opportunity to grow and evolve. After all, the journey is as important as the destination. Fourth, maintain a positive mindset. Now you might be wondering, how can one stay positive when their twin flame is with someone else? It may seem like a daunting task, but believe me, it's not only possible, it's crucial. You see, positivity is not just about plastering a smile on your face, it's about changing your entire perspective on the situation. Instead of seeing this as a setback, see it as an opportunity for growth and learning. Each experience, each emotion is here to teach us something about ourselves and our journey. This is where the law of attraction comes into play. The Law of Attraction is a simple yet powerful principle that states we attract what we focus on. If you focus on the lack, the absence, the not having, then that's exactly what you'll continue to experience. But if you focus on love, on growth, on the potential of your twin flame connection, then that's what you'll attract. Imagine your thoughts as seeds. If you plant seeds of doubt, fear, and negativity, then that's the kind of harvest you'll reap. But if you plant seeds of faith, love, and positivity, then you'll reap a harvest abundant in those qualities. Now let's make one thing clear. Maintaining a positive mindset doesn't mean ignoring or suppressing your feelings. It's okay to feel sad, to feel hurt. Feelings are not the enemy. The key here is not to dwell in these feelings, but to acknowledge them, to feel them fully, and then to let them go. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. Your twin flame, even if they're with someone else right now, is connected to you on a much deeper level. Trust in that connection, trust in the journey, and most importantly, trust in yourself. So cultivate that positivity, water it, nurture it, let it grow, let it change your perspective, let it guide your actions, let it attract what you truly desire. A positive mindset can attract positive outcomes. Scene script. Fifth, keep communication open. Imagine a bridge, a pathway, a connection that links two shores. That's what communication is in the world of twin flames. It's the bridge that links two souls together. It's the pathway that allows feelings, thoughts, and emotions to flow from one to the other. It's the connection that ensures understanding, compassion, and love. Open communication is not only about speaking your truth, but it's also about actively listening to your twin flame. It's about being present, being attentive, and being open to what the other person has to say. It's about allowing the other person to express themselves fully without judgment or criticism. Remember, your twin flame is not just another person. They are a mirror of your soul. If you want to understand yourself better, if you want to grow as a person, you need to understand your twin flame. And the only way to do that is through open and honest communication. Open communication can help both parties understand each other better. It can help clear misunderstandings, resolve conflicts, and build trust. It can also help both parties align their energies, synchronize their vibrations, and harmonize their frequencies. But open communication is not always easy. It requires courage, it requires vulnerability, and it requires patience. Courage to speak your truth, vulnerability to show your true self, and patience to listen to the other person. So how do you keep the line of communication open? Start by expressing your feelings honestly. Share your thoughts, your fears, your dreams, your hopes. Don't hold back. Let your twin flame see the real you. Next, listen to your twin flame. Truly listen. Don't just hear the words, but feel the emotions behind them. Understand their perspective, empathize with their feelings. Remember, communication is a two-way street. It's not just about talking, it's also about listening. 
It's not just about expressing, it's also about understanding. It's not just about speaking, it's also about feeling. Open communication is key to understanding and resolving any issues. So keep the line of communication open. Let the energy flow. Let the love grow. Sixth, remember that patience is a virtue. This timeless adage rings especially true when navigating the complex dynamic of twin flame connections. The journey is often filled with trials and tribulations, but patience, my friends, can be your guiding star. Let's delve deeper into why patience is so crucial. Imagine you're cultivating a garden. You plant the seeds, water them, and ensure they get enough sunlight. But you can't rush the process, can you? You can't force the seeds to sprout overnight or the flowers to bloom in a day. Just like that, your twin flame relationship needs time to grow and flourish. Patience is the watering can that nourishes this bond, allowing it to deepen and strengthen over time. In the face of challenges, it's natural to yearn for immediate resolution. But remember, the best things in life are often those we wait for. A twin flame relationship is no exception. Patience allows you to experience every nuance, every high and low, every joy and sorrow. This journey is not a sprint, it's a marathon. And every marathoner knows that it's not just about reaching the finish line, but about the journey itself. Moreover, patience fosters understanding. It gives you the time to comprehend your twin flame's perspective, their struggles, their journey. It allows you to empathize with them, to walk a mile in their shoes. This understanding can bridge gaps, heal wounds, and bring you closer than ever before. But patience is not passive. It's not about waiting aimlessly. It's about conscious waiting, about trusting the process, and about believing in the bond you share. It's about knowing that every moment spent waiting is a step closer to a deeper, more profound connection. So, when the road gets tough, when your twin flame is with someone else, remember to be patient. Remember that every challenge, every delay is an opportunity for growth. It's a chance to learn, to evolve, and to become a better version of yourself. Patience allows for growth and understanding in this unique relationship. It's a virtue that can transform your twin flame journey into a beautiful dance of love, growth, and unity. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek professional help if needed. When navigating the complex and often emotionally charged waters of a twin flame relationship, it's not uncommon to feel overwhelmed. It's during these times you might find it beneficial to turn to a professional for guidance. Professionals, such as therapists or spiritual guides, are trained to help you navigate through these challenging circumstances. A therapist, for example, can provide you with tools and strategies to manage your emotions, helping you to gain perspective and maintain balance in your life. They can guide you to understand your feelings better, assisting you in making sense of the roller coaster of emotions you may be experiencing. On the other hand, a spiritual guide can offer a unique perspective on your situation. Drawing on their knowledge and experience of spiritual matters, they can provide insights into the nature of twin flame relationships that you might not have considered. They can help you explore the spiritual significance of your relationship and offer ways to harness the energy of your connection for personal growth. With their support, you might find that you're better equipped to handle the challenges that come with a twin flame relationship. They can help you to understand that the journey with your twin flame isn't just about the destination, but the personal growth and self-discovery that happen along the way. Remember, seeking help isn't a sign of weakness. Instead, it's a testament to your strength and your commitment to navigating this journey in the healthiest way possible. It's about recognizing that sometimes we all need a little help to make sense of the world around us. So, if you're feeling lost or overwhelmed, don't be afraid to reach out. Whether it's a therapist or a spiritual guide, there are professionals out there who can provide the guidance and support you need. Professional guidance can provide clarity and support during this challenging time. In conclusion, dealing with a twin flame who is with someone else can be challenging. Yet, as we've explored today, it's not an insurmountable situation. There are ways to navigate this complex emotional landscape and foster a sense of peace, understanding, and growth within yourself. Firstly, we delved into the concept of the twin flame connection. 
This profound bond is more than just a typical romantic relationship. It's a spiritual connection of two souls, essentially two parts of the same soul coming together. It's a connection that transcends the physical realm and delves deep into the spiritual. Understanding this connection is the first step towards dealing with your twin flame being with someone else. It's about acceptance. Accepting the situation as it is, rather than how you wish it to be. Acceptance doesn't mean giving up or not caring. Rather, it's about acknowledging the reality of the situation and realizing that it is part of your spiritual journey. Following acceptance, we explored the importance of focusing on personal growth. This can be a time of immense self-discovery and transformation. Use this period to nurture your interests, discover new passions, and work on becoming the best version of yourself. Maintaining a positive mindset throughout this journey is also crucial. It's easy to fall into a spiral of negativity, but remember, positivity breeds positivity. The energy you put out into the universe is the energy you attract. Communication, too, plays a key role. Keeping the lines of communication open with your twin flame, even if they're with someone else, can help foster understanding and lessen the sense of loss. Patience, as they say, is a virtue. Understand that your journey with your twin flame is unique. It may take time, but remember, the universe has a way of aligning things in its own time. Lastly, don't hesitate to seek professional help if needed. Therapists and counselors can provide valuable insight and tools to help you cope. Remember, this is a journey of spiritual growth and self-discovery. Embrace it, learn from it, and grow with it.